You know what's really cruel, folks? No one was talking about a bare bones broadcasting. That was my daughter, and I want everyone to know I struggle with my help with my daughter. I cannot hear very well. Only really what I find out is people don't speak where they yes, somehow intelligence tilted is how they speak. It sure is. They take bowel and content and really go, gush! Yeah, they do. So when you're hard of hearing, or actually you just have ears, you really notice that. And you ask them, don't do that. Speak the language effectively. No, I won't! What? No, I'm not going to speak the language effectively. I get away with slurring with everybody else. And you can't, I, I can't slur to you, so you're an idiot. You're a jerk. My daughter just did that to me. And a lot of people do it. Now, punks at bus stops don't. Young man that looked like that fighter in the movie Harlem Nights. When I explain to him I have a hearing problem, he doesn't mind in all his stuttering repeating himself to me with manners. And I, with manners, can't appreciate that young man enough. My children spit straight in my face about that issue. A lot of other people do too, and they think it's cute. Well, I'm glad I met that young man at a bus stop that looked like the fighter in Harlem Nights, verbatim. And he said, w when people m make fun of me, I nail them. <laughs> I said, I wish you were my friend. <laughs> Man, I could hang out with you all day long. You and I get along just fine. And I didn't look like all them. <laughs> but it'd just be like that. I'd take the stutter and I think. Just to nail him. <laughs> I liked him. What a nice young man. He was so nice to me. He was... <laughs> uh, you see, or you... This is my profile. My thinking. Pass it on, will you? See, I, I really think I got it from law enforcement. <laughs> I did. It's like from being handled by law enforcement, you pick up the disposition in the wit and presume. That's why guys go back to jail. Yeah, they get along with the wit of the jailer and the disposition. And it's not out here. So they go back to jail to find it. You believe that, but they do. More coherency. More wit, more savvy, more honest, more joy, more everything in prison staff than the average boss in merchandising. Want a bat? And treated a lot better as a prisoner. So they tell me I'm going back to jail, buddy. I can't handle this anymore. I've had them say it to me. If it takes me a brick through that window over there, I'm going back to jail. I'm broken hearted out here back inside. That's what you're doing. Like it? Well, oh, hello, oh, all these uh, uh, grant-driven eyes roll back, whites of their eyes. Well, oh, go, go to Washington and do some good. Shut up! Fix your lifestyle. Move! Just manners will do it. Manners! Same as you get at a traffic stop. Manners! We'll do it. Let everyone live up to the police officer at a traffic stop. And I'll bet this is a nice place. And you won't resent a traffic stop anymore. What of that? Move! 